Hello my dear friends, this is Paul Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango and welcome to my new video about a completely new SDR transceiver. I am a big fan of the Zygu X5105 and you have seen many my videos with this transceiver often when I am portable or I am trying new antennas and it's a great transceiver. I can say it's the one of the best transceiver in the market in, in, this, uh, in this class when uh, we are talking about the uh, QRP portable transceivers. This transceiver is a standalone transceiver. It has uh, all the features inside or internal, so you don't need any cables, wires, accessories around this transceiver. So uh, uh, I, I t I'm talking about the main features like uh, an internal battery, uh, internal automatic tuner, it has an uh, internal microphone, internal PTT button, and a large display and the other features like noise reduction and so on. All these things are inside this box. So therefore I was so happy when the Zygu company announced uh, arrival of the new model of these ultra portable transceivers. Uh, it's the Zygu X6100 and in this video I would like to show you how the X6100 actually works, how it looks like and of course I would like to compare the both radios, how they uh, look, differences and uh, the new features, what this SDR technology uh, includes in this new 6100. So let's get started and we'll see. Okay, so the new Zygu X6100 comes with this beautiful black box and here on the side we can find the main features of this radio and here we can see uh, the uh, display, 4 inch display, quad core CPU inside this radio, noise reduction feature, SWR uh, scanner or the some say SWR analyzer, but actually it is not an analyzer. Uh, voice recorder and the voice call is also included in this radio. We can see the spectrum scope also. Auto charging system and it has a slot for an external micro SD card. And here we can see kind of connections of this uh, transceiver. We have uh, here the Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth. But in my um, version inside this radio it is not included yet, but I believe that in the next uh, firmware updates it will be included also, the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connection. We can see that uh, this radio includes the USB Type-C connections, which is a great feature because we don't need any uh, special extra a data cable and this uh, USB-C cable is included here in the box. So let me open the box and let's see what is inside. What is a very good thing that the Zygu started with the uh, printed uh, manuals. This manual is uh, completely written in English and it's actually the version number one. So of course with uh, the new firmware uh, upcomings uh, the, this manual will be old and I will need to look for the new one. So it's nicely written also many pictures you can see here and on the on the page number 33 you can find the information about the radio, you can see these uh, parameter and uh, specifications of this uh, transceiver and also you can find here the packaging list 
to be sure that nothing is missing in your package. Okay, here we can see the uh, warranty card and the quality card here. Then we have an internal part of this uh, box. As you can see here, we can uh, uh, notice this uh, empty space. Uh, I don't know for what purpose is this empty space. It looks like for something. So I asked to sell her, but uh, he didn't know also for what purpose is this free space here. Okay, here on the bottom you can see the transceiver itself. It's covered in this uh, foil, protecting foil. And here we can see this uh, X100 transceiver. Yeah, it looks really, really amazing. And it's smaller than the uh, X5105. I will see, I will show you it uh, a little bit later. Okay, and here on the side of the box you can see the cable for the uh, hand mic also power cable also the same as uh, the X5105 this is the uh, type C a data cable for connection between a computer and transceiver and the hand mic body it's the pretty the same hand mic as the X5105 has. All right, and here in this small box is one interesting thing that this transceiver comes with the charger. Finally, because the X5105 it doesn't have the charger. This one has the charger, but what is really interesting on this charger is that is a five volt charger as you can see here a 5 volt and 2000 milliamp charger is included in the package i presume that this radio has some kind of booster inside circuitry because uh, it, it charged with the 5 volts and uh, usually charging systems or charging adapters comes with 12 volts or 13.8 so maybe some kind of booster inside, I don't know yet. All right, that's all. The box is empty. And now let's look closer on the radio itself. All right, so let's look closer to this uh, Zygu X6100. As you can see, that is completely black body of this radio and is made of a metallic shield which is great and also good for cooling and you can see uh, this uh, structure I presume that is for a cooling of this uh, radio it doesn't have any fun or something so just uh, this kind of uh, body cooling here okay and on the back side of this radio we have the legs this is really good feature and the same legs are used on the X5105 just a slightly different in a design because this is machined inside to the body also it has a click and pretty the same here with the uh, 6100 it has a click as you can see it is not machined into the body of the transceiver okay and the uh, top side of this transceiver includes these buttons, the heart buttons 
and here is the fast uh, dialing or tuning dialing AGC automatic gain control a VFO a memory display the internal automatic tuner this is the attenuator and uh, preamp AB VFO and here on this side we can see three separate mode buttons which is uh, the new on this transceiver because the uh, X5105 includes just the one button here and uh, we can select the band just with this one button here we can see uh, three buttons for SSB, CW and AMFM here behind we can see two uh, band buttons and this is the band stack stack buttons the PTT button or push to talk and internal microphone here right next to the uh, tuning knob so this is the uh, function buttons and uh, the purpose of these buttons depends on the menu selected in the firmware here on the left side we can see the uh, general uh, menu button applications the key button messaging or the voice message uh, here we have uh, the digital uh, noise uh, filter or something and digital filter this is a, a variable filter uh, for receiving the knob is uh, bigger than the X5105 you can see that this is uh, flat much more flat than this one uh, that means this uh, X5105 is maybe a little bit better if you carry this transceiver inside some uh, pocket this is uh, a little bit wider because of this uh, uh, knob but also under the knob we can see here the foam protect this radio against the dust So I have uh, just a slight uh, feeling that this uh, knob is uh, touching uh, the body of this transceiver, but it is not true. It is just uh, due to this foam and I think that after some time it will be fine. All right, and the protection uh, foil on the screen. Yeah, that is, this is my most favorite thing on the new transceiver. To do something like that oh yeah this is satisfaction <laughs> all right so here we can see a beautiful screen four inch screen here on the left side you can see the uh, BNC connector the same as was used here on the 5105 the IQ output DC uh, power cord or power uh, socket and on the right side you can see the host USB-C and this connector is uh, for connection uh, with the computer this is the slot for the micro SD card, speakerphone, keyboard, and accessories connection, and the mic. And the uh, warranty label is right here. Okay, so let me turn on the transceiver. So let's check firstly the Zygu X5105. Total weight is 908 grams. 
and now the Zygu X6100 845 grams so this radio is 50 grams uh, lighter than the X5105 now the uh, size of the radio so the X5105 I just measured the body of the radio it's uh, 17 centimeters 6100 is 18 centimeters uh, one centimeter bigger and the height the X5105 is 9.5 centimeter high the X6100 is 8.9 centimeter high Yeah, there is a the little difference. And the depth of these both radios almost five no four point five centimeters. Here we have uh, almost five centimeters. Okay, so the depth is almost the same. We need to count with these uh, buttons. You can see that there are buttons here and the knobs and here they are not so the X5105 is is fluttered much more than the 6100 now let me show you how long it takes uh, to turn on this new X6100 transceiver I need to push this button for about 4 seconds to turn on this radio and now it's turning on yeah and now it is turn it on so now let me show you how it how long it takes on the 5105 and it's done so the main difference between uh, both radios is an internal operating system in this SDR transceiver this is traditional super high radio so the booting of this radio uh, takes a uh, much shorter time than, than this one the menu system in this radio automatically detect the microphone type so when you're using an external mic just connect and the radio knows that the microphone has been connected so you will be able to transmit with this mic if you disconnect the mic it will detect that it have to use an internal mic here next of this uh, tuning knob for now I connect my magnetic loop antenna but there is not really good conditions here not many signals here on, on this location but I would like to show you how the SWR scanner works on this new radio compared to the X5105 radio okay so we need to go to the app to the applications and now select this SWR scan um, this uh, screen is not a touch screen so for all these features you need to use this uh, function button so here we can see the graph and here we can select the speed this is the slowest speed 
but if we will use uh, faster and for and five. Number five is the fastest speed of the scanner. And now I can compare this thing with the X5105 Yeah, slightly different. Okay, so this radio has a general menu here. So here down on the bottom of the screen, you can see the radio settings number one, number two, and a display setting and a system setting. So the radio setting you can see this features in the menu and moving between this uh, feature you have to use this knob it's the multifunctional knob to adjust the feature you select it and the other thing if you need to uh, select one of this feature right here to this uh, to this icon just go to some other feature let's say microphone gain and push this button here and you see that this uh, microphone gain now is here in this icon and by rotate rotating this uh, multifunctional knob you can select the values. If you would like to here have the power, go back, select the uh, TX power and again push this button you have here. And you can adjust the power. Yeah, it's very simple and very useful. In the radio setting 2, we can find just a few features like the clarifier for receiving, for transmitting. I think this is the split and something about the IQ. Go back and the display setting. Here we can play with the uh, spectrum scope, with the waterfall and the backlight like here so just uh, select the feature you want and then we can use this knob or you can just push this button here plus and minus right go back and the system setting here we can set the uh, time just by pushing this knob button here to OK icon and exit. So going back again, the system info. Here you can find the, the uh, firmware version. This is mine, 1.1. And firmware update. I will show you later how to upgrade this radio which is very very easy All right and um, the one more feature is uh, the uh, audio message so you can record your audio and uh, transmit it if you are somewhere in the menu just press the general menu here and then press the message 
Now you can see the voice down there. So by pressing the voice you will see this screen. It is waiting for recording. This is the idle right here. So by pressing this uh, record button and talking to your microphone, you will record your voice, your CQ. So let me show you. Hello CQ, hello CQ. This is Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. And press this stop button. Okay, uh, the play button wouldn't work on this uh, firmware version. So just go to exit and now go to the application or you can tune your transmitting frequency, let's say uh, 200. Okay, go to the app select the voice call and here you can see recorded the message it's six seconds long hello cq hello cq this is oscar mike zero echo tango and again hello cq hello cq this is oscar mike zero echo tango all right, so pretty, pretty nice uh, feature and it's very useful when you're tired calling CQ and this is cool. You can eat, you can drink and your radio still uh, transmitting on this frequency and keep the frequency occupied. Uh, with my current uh, firmware, I cannot go down with tuning to 1 Hz or 10 Hz. I have just the two options, 100 Hz and 1 kHz. And how to do the switch, you can just uh, push the FST button here. And watch here. This is 1 kHz, this is 100 Hz. If you wish to use uh, an internal uh, tuner in this radio, just use this button here, the ATU, by push and hold this button for a few seconds, the ATU will be turned on and will tune your antenna. Yeah, there is no need to tune the antenna because I am precisely on the band, on the frequency. But I can go a little bit to the side, much further. Yeah, that's how it works. This radio has also the CW decoder and it has also the RTTY decoder and a BPSK decoder. I will show you how it looks like. Go to the app menu and select the modem. So here we can see the BPSK mode and by pressing this button you can select the RTTY and the CW mode. Here in this uh, window it should appear the CW decoded signal but in this moment I don't have any CW signal. Also here you can see the rate or the speed which you can select by this knob here on the left. It's a words per minute. Okay, so there is also one more thing what I would like to say. Uh, the charging system of this radio. As you can see that this uh, transceiver has included this power adapter charger, which is a 5 volt charger. So, 
to use this charger you need to do something in the menu because if the uh, charging is turned off in the menu the radio will not charge with this charger as you can see here I'll connect this and the LED is not blinking which means that the battery is not charging in this case so what, what we have to do turn on the radio and go to the menu radio setting 1 so here the radio setting 1 and select the charger as you can see in this case is the charger off select on and go out from the menu turn the radio off and here see the LED Yeah, it is blinking. That's fine. So your 5 volt charger is now currently working and charging the, the battery inside the radio. For the upgrade, you have to use a micro SD card. In my case, I will use a uh, small micro SD card this is 4 gigabyte you don't need much bigger the SD card and put the SD card into the computer slot and go to the website radiodt.com and you will find the link down in the video description find this new Zygu X6100 here and click on the icon get this software right here and download save it to your computer let's say on desktop the file has been downloaded you have to right click here on this file and uh, you have to uh, unpack this file to the same folder so here is unpack this file open the file and you will see the SD tool you can see also the manual how to do that and uh, the log so open the SD tool first and install the Rufus 3.10 there is also a newer version uh, 3.17 I think so I recommend to find a Rufus 3.17 and download it alright so here you can see this uh, uh, this window here you can select uh, your uh, SD card in my case it is the 4 gigabyte SD card and push the uh, select button here in the select button you have to go to the file where is the uh, project uh, where is the software downloaded in my case it was uh, in the Zygu here and open the image right here so select this image here all right image is here and now do the start press the start and wait 
about maybe one or two minutes uh, when the process ends. Then push the close. And in this moment, your SD card will be ready for uh, update of your transceiver. And now when your SD card has been prepared for an upgrade, remove it from the computer and remove also the micro SD card from the adapter in my case. The second thing is be sure that your transceiver is turned off. And the other thing is be sure that your transceiver is connected to the power source or to your battery charger. And be sure that the charging is turned on in the menu of your transceiver. Now just uh, put the SD card contacts facing to you into the slot here on the right side of this transceiver. Push it. And now we can just turn on the transceiver and waiting what will happen. The upgrade process should start automatically. Okay, this is the upgrade process and down on the bottom of the screen you can see the process. whole process takes maybe a few seconds. And here is the countdown to reboot. Alright, so this radio rebooted or just uh, shut down and now we can remove the micro SD card from the slot. Don't forget to remove it because the upgrade process after next boot your transceiver will be uh, back again and uh, the process will repeat. Alright, so now we normally start the radio. A long press of the power button All right, now go to the system setting and with this multifunctional knob go to the firmware upgrade, press the multifunction knob. Here we can see the file, the upgrade file and push the upgrade button here. Of course, again, the charger have to be connected to the radio, otherwise the firmware update will not work. So push the upgrade and we can see a raising flash. And the whole process of an upgrade. It is also very fast. And it's done. Just push the quit, quit button, exit button, and I recommend, of course, reboot your transceiver again. Okay, and your transceiver should start normally. So, in this case, your transceiver is updated and you can repeat this process after the next upgrade again. Alright, so now let me look closer at the uh, power consumption of this transceiver. So, I have here the power supply set on 14 volts but uh, actually it is not a 14 volts it is a 13.8 
and uh, the transceiver is set charger off so I should measure the current driving just the transceiver not the battery so let me connect and see okay so here you can see that the uh, current is uh, 330 320 milliamps um, on 14 volts or 13.8 this is the uh, power consumption on the volume 9 I can go up with the volume to maximum 50 points all right so as you can see that the maximum volume is 360 amps I can go up with the backlight all right this is the maximum backlight and uh, you can see 420 milliamps maximum volume maximum backlight okay and and now i will try turn on the uh, charger in the setting here so charger is on so you can see 920 milliamps 930 milliamps this is with charger on and the maximum backlight and also the maximum volume so we have uh, 960 milliamps with uh, charging battery maximum backlight maximum volume okay so we have very poor day you can see it's about one degree plus and very foggy it's cold something like rain i have here under the roof my magnetic loop antenna so i would like i would like to uh, connect this antenna to the uh, zaigu x6100 i see that many stations are calling on 20 meters right now i think also 17 was open so there is a good chance to test this uh, little transceiver okay here is the station from oscar hotel so let's try to contact Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango QRP QRP station, only the QRP station Okay, this is Oscar Mexico Zero Echo Tango QRP Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango QRP Turn it by antenna no, towards sorry. north. And the pleasure with you for the second time. We had a contact on the second of January 2021. So nice to meet you again after one year. My name is Peter Pareko Tango Echo Romeo. Peter's the name. Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango QP. Oscar Suluid Charlie Tango Hotel. Oscar Zulu 8, Charlie Tango Hotel. This is Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango QRP. Yes, Peter, very nice to meet you again. My name is Paul, that is correct. And I'm running only 5 watts into the magnetic loop antenna. Magnetic loop antenna 5 watts and small SDR transceiver, the Zaigu X6100. Could you give me please your signal report? You are 5 and 9 here with me in Slovakia. Over. 
into a magnetic antenna and the SWR no the is the R radio works absolutely fine. He was five and five, five and six on the peak with me. That's good. Today a wet and dull day with temperatures about plus two degrees C. The Christmas was beautiful and white, but unfortunately the snow has gone by now. So what is left is the traditional grey and wet wet picture rather grim. Working conditions briefly, Paul, two on the board, for me issue Fox Tango, Delta X Ray five thousand. And the antenna is no Fitliaki. Turn now into your direction. Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango, host of C T eight. Roger, Roger, Peter, 100% copy. Thank you so much for the very nice report, uh, 55256. I'm running only 5 watts from the very new transceiver, so I'm, I am uh, very curious, what is my audio? What is my audio, please, on the other side? And uh, congratulations to your uh, very nice uh, working conditions. I wish to have uh, 200 watts right now. No, I'm running just the QRP and uh, testing this new SDR transceiver. Uh, back to you, Peter. Thank you once again, Paul, for the report. And as far as your audio is concerned, it's absolutely fine. It's natural, it's natural and easy to understand. Um, if I were to change anything, to modify anything, but I'm not sure I would, I would add, if I could, a bit more highs to your audio. Mm -hmm. This might increase the readability, especially under difficult conditions, QSL. Yes, QSL, full understand. Thank you so much uh, for this information. So uh, you would edit more bass on, no, more high frequencies in the audio. Okay, very good to know. Thank you so much. Uh, by the way, I'm recording this contact, so I will add you into my new uh, YouTube video. So you can find my YouTube channel on my uh, qrz.com peter all right thank you so much again for these all informations i wish you a very good day 73 and happy new year 2022 peter this is oscar mike zero echo tango sorry i don't have paper so i don't have your call sign written back to you over please for the italian station please excuse why the frequency is in use thank you paul it was a pleasure with you and fun on the recording i wish you the best luck uh, happy new year and hopefully I'll catch you soon again. Oscar Mike, Zero Echo Tango, Stroke QP, OCD, CT8, often clear. Okay, Peter, 100%, thank you, 7 threes, bye bye. 10 threes, QSF. Wow, that was pretty with QSF. this little Oscar transceiver. I like it. Tango Hotel. I have a D5105 here. And Peter told me that I need more high frequencies into the audio. And this is my antenna. I turn it, the antenna towards north, northwest. Denmark is this way. So, going back to the radio and I will try to make a few more contacts all right so let me turn across the band what is here I think it was the Italian station. Oscar November 
Zastrzelony kotęgu. I think the propagations are open to the uh, UK right now. Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango QRP. Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango QRP, no problem at all. 5 at 5, 55, Roger. Roger, Roger, you're a 5 by 7. 5 by 7, I'm running just the 5 watts, over. 55, Roger. QSL, you're a 5 by 7. 5 by 7, 5 by 7, over. All right, he gave me a 5-5. Five five. He was a 5 and 7 with me. He's running Flora Fauna. Oscar Mexico Zero Echo Tango QRP. Yes, Oscar Tango Zero Hotel no. Tango. Oscar Tango Zero Hotel Tango. Uh, good afternoon. You are a five by five, five by five QSL. I repeat my call sign. Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango QRP. Tango, Roger. <laughs> uh, the suffix echo tango, the suffix Ecuador tango. Oscar Mike Zero, echo tango, echo yeah. tango. So a little bit of QSB <laughs> uh, on your signal as well. But I've got that now, Oscar Mike Zero, echo tango. Roger, 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 you're a 5 and 9, uh, 5 and 9 plus. 5 and 9, 5 and 9 plus, over. The new Zygu is beautiful radio. I'm so happy with it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have some questions, please leave the comment. Thank you guys for watching and I wish you Happy New Year and 73s.